Okay. Next day. Uh, July 6th of 2024. Do you see this? This is where I have to keep some of my tools. It's, no, it's so fucking annoying. All these years, I've had tools up in my mix. Screws, whatever, right? This is just a, a fraction of the shit that I have. I need my staple gun. And, like, this is a sewing desk that, with a sewing machine on top that I should be trying to use or teach Andre how to use. But besides that point, I kind of sorted things out. And now I have to dig them out. Okay, people? Uh, you know, like, I don't even have proper storage for my freaking tools, man. I never have. I never have. And, you know, the downstairs, just the way the downstairs was, I never really could put them out there. And you don't want to leave, like, you know, nice files and, and pliers and just whatever outside, you know, even if it's in cold storage for very long. Because the uh, the metal will start to rust over time, if, especially if it's already compromised. I mean, it's easy enough to pull them out and sand them down, sand them down, and remove the rust and give them a good oil, and they'll still chances are be in good shape. But it's just you know. So anyway, all right. So before I can go outside, I have to go outside, people, and I'm having fucking panic attacks because. I know what's going on in my province, and like this is homegrown terrorism, literally, like on on a, on a whole new level of uh, uh, genocide with that boil the frog technique, right? Like people live in fucking fear in this province, in situations like mine, knowing that it's just a matter of time before they're forced into a housing market, right, where there's no affordable housing, <coughs> and. The government is oblivious, but the government is a part of the problem. But so are the property developers, and so are the city councils. And it's like we're dealing with a criminal group here, people, that uh, uses taxpayers' dollars to facilitate illegal activity, just like they do with uh, illegal organ harvesting. They used to public tax dollars to do it, public workers to do it, public facilities to do it, and public courthouses to protect that process. Yeah. No different. Anyway, I'm trying not to have panic attacks. Now, I don't think I need vice grips. I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. I don't need that. And I already got those clippers... Oh, God. What is this? Rubber gloves. <coughs> Mix match. <coughs> Keep those handy. Because you know I'm going to be wearing them all summer long now, right up until late fall. I bought this a digital multi-meter kit so that if I don't want to use my, uh, what is that called? Um, vacuum sealer to seal my jars. Because I've only got one jar to seal, I can use the uh, pump, the uh, pump that's in that thing there to do it. But I've never, I've never opened it yet. <laughs> I've never even had a chance to use it. But it's there. What is this? Rope with an empty jar. So I'm working outside. So bring that outside, because once I start pulling out screws and all that crap, because you know I got to do it. Right, and I can't, you know, I, I, I just have to, like, do it, people. I, I don't have a fucking choice. I really don't. I never had a choice in this fucking yard. It was either a do or die. If I don't do it, we'll die. Yeah, sooner or later, shit's gonna hit the fucking fan with it. And, you know, like, here's a nice big box. And clearly nobody else wants to do it, right? And if they do do it, like my son, all he does is scoop everything up like he's one big bulldozer, puts it in a big pile, and then leaves it for me to go fucking clean it up later. Like, Jesus Christ. Another bag of... <coughs> What's in here? I'm looking for my staple gun. What I use, I'm going to put in this, but I like to put my meat in this when I'm uh, canning. Because it sits nice in the fridge and gets nice and cold. Okay, what can I see? Nothing. I can't see fucking jack shit here. Oh my god, people, this is bad. I don't know. Let's see. 
Okay, I need a tape measure for sure. And there's another tape measure. We'll just bring one out. I definitely need wire. Here's my old school stapler gun. I love this one. I thought my son, had, he said he didn't. I was convinced that he did. But then as I was organizing this again, I found it and I was so happy. Some staples, but that's not enough. So I'm gonna need some more. I have different sizes. Another tape measure. Uh, what else we got in here that looks like, I don't know, I think those are Allen keys. Here's some some staples, because I'm working on, the, I have to do the fence. I have one, two, three, four, five areas on that fence to fix that I'm aware of at this point. And some of those areas are at least six feet long, where I have to run screen on those boards so they don't fall down. Uh, on this side of the house with those neighbors over there, I don't know, the guy, he pulled off a couple of the boards so that sun could go through so it could go on his plants, but by doing that, like fucking like half a fence, uh, like p probably about four feet, well, maybe less than that, maybe three, four feet, no, well, what am I talking about? At least seven feet, six feet, maybe more. All the boards fell down, so I have to restring the boards, and then I have to staple the the uh, screen on it. But then he'll get mad, right? Because the sun won't go through because I put the boards back up. Like fuck, man. But you know I don't like it like that because people, you know, they can creep your yard any time, right? You know, and like I know he did it on purpose. I let it slide, let it slide. But the boards, are, they're more and more falling, and the more and more it falls, everything else is gonna fucking fall apart. And there ain't nobody fixing the fence around here except me. So I'm, since I'm fencing, fixing fences, I got enough staples, I got enough screen, we seen that, right? I got enough boards to do whatever I need to do. I'm good. Oh, hey, here's some more. I don't know what size these are. Everything requires a different size. What is this? One quarter inch is good. For what I need right now. I don't know what size this is. And I don't feel very well because I never went to the bathroom the whole time I was outside yesterday. So needless to say, I think I hurt my kidneys. <laughs> or my liver or something. <laughs> I, and plus I did a lot of bending and shit because I got a pain up by my ovary areas on my right side. So I don't know what organ is down there, but definitely irritating. Right. I was, I didn't, I was so lazy, I didn't want to, I didn't want to come upstairs and take off my boots and go to the bathroom because you know I'm under pressure people I got that whip on my back I don't care what anybody fucking says here sorry boo boo says uh, uh, to go to the bathroom and then I was kind of plotting and scheming how I could sneak off into a corner in my own yard just to take a fucking piss to keep it easy like you know and move on right just keep that pace because right you only got so much time and, and even then it's not enough time right because whatever so you know and I held it and then of course it went away and then I justified it well when you used to do park events right you'd go all fucking day long without taking a piss so just <clears throat> then I forgot about it right and so I think maybe I kind of hurt myself because today I'm like oh anyway I'm probably a little dehydrated okay do I need a level maybe it's a good idea to teach Andre working with a level anyway. I don't need the Allen keys. Do I need a pencil? Yeah, this is a good one. But I'm going to have to look for a dark felt for anything that I need to cut with a fill saw because I won't see that pencil unless I can. These are Allen keys. I don't need Allen keys right now. <coughs> 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 sitting on the floor. I will put those dirty clothes back on. Mm -hmm. We'll go back outside. As soon as I gather everything up. What is this? Oh, staples. So we'll bring those out. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see what size they are first. <coughs> I guess that's a quarter inch. Those are quarter inch. Quarter inch might not be long enough. But there's half inches in here too. Wait, no, they're not. Wait, do I see a half inch? 
yeah. Depending on what I'm stapling into, right? That's a half inch. Oh, and then we got some quarter inches in here. And I have another staple gun, so I need to find it. Just in case, because this one I have is the first one I ever bought when I started doing this shit. And I've had it for years and years and years and years and years and years. And I've worked it like a real bitch. It's a Del, a Del Watt. Good brand, man. Very comfortable. Okay, so that's... You never know when that happens. I gotta pull out another box. See? There's no fucking room here for nothing. This shit shouldn't even be here. But whatever. And then I got fucking men showing up at my door saying, Do you work? Do you? I don't know. Look around, motherfucker. What, you think this yard just created itself over time? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to pick on the Punjabis today. Although they're really stressing me out, people. I'm having such big fucking huge panic attacks. You don't even know. Okay, this is... Looks like vice grips again. See, there's a little, little, little smaller one. Um, stuff like this you want to kind of keep handy because you never know, right? But I don't, know, I don't think I need that right now. I'll keep this one out. Right? Just in case have to pull something or something. I'm put that in there. Oh, God. Uh, looks like there's a... So I don't know what that is. Bits? I don't know. This is... Another pair of different kind of pliers. I think I need anything else in here. And then I've got tools underneath in here where those cans are at the bottom shelf to which I'd love to be able to put them freaking somewhere else but I can't because there's nowhere else to put them because that's where I need to put my bloody vacuum cleaner. Like what the fuck, right? Like it's such an inconvenience. You don't even know. You don't even know. You know? And then yesterday, you know, I was trying to put out that olive branch. You heard me people with Marina, right? And, you know, I mean, okay, she doesn't like the garden. Okay, fine, whatever. I, what can you say? What is this? I think this is bits. Yeah, this is bits. So I need to keep this handy because maybe this year I'll use the fucking drill better before I screw the screw in. Because we have to do repairs. When you're doing stuff on the stairs and stuff like that, you need to use screws because if you use a nail and you hammer, it, over time, you know, the nail just works itself out up right and right whereas if you screw you know it locks it in right so yeah I should keep this out because this is different different uh, size bits it's a nice little set it's too bad I'm losing my eyesight I mean seriously what man wouldn't want that God, now I can't even lock the bloody thing. <coughs> so I gotta keep these handy. So maybe what we'll do is we'll <coughs> we'll leave this box out with things that I will need as time goes by. Yeah. As everything that I do is being plot and schemed how to tear it apart and destroy it so that I can be accused that I don't fucking work <coughs> and that I'm a fucking bum and that I am responsible for the sins of my forefathers to up hold up a I don't know what Now, because I can't see very well, I don't know what the hell happened to that other box. Okay, because I got a whole bunch of shit right here that I don't need. So, I just kind of want to keep things together. 
and then like I said I've got other things underneath there in toolboxes <coughs> like a tool bay <coughs> this is a nice one <coughs> just in case <coughs> special allen key <coughs> yeah this doesn't want to take responsibility for the yard not even for two seconds Two fucking seconds that needle nose priors, you always need those, okay? You never know. And then there's a big ass freaking uh what is it, a wrench? <coughs> I have a book. <coughs> I need to find it. <coughs> it's because I'm down on the floor with nasty dirt and dust. Um what do you call it? <coughs> That has pictures on it of multiple many things in life. And it has a whole section on tools like this. <coughs> where all you have to do is look for the picture. <coughs> and it will tell you what it is. I have to find that book. Okay. Now I'm looking for screws. Screwdrivers, right? Whatever else I got in here. Do you know how obnoxious this is? Having to pull this shit out and fucking put it back, pull it out, have it up in your fucking face all the time, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is, um, I don't know. <coughs> this is that thing for the pulling in the front <coughs> to uh, <coughs> UV ray <coughs> to de it. I'm still debating whether I should put the big one in. I will deal with that when I'm working in the front. Right now, I'm just catching up in the back. I don't know what this shit is. I have no clue. Oh, this is for hydroponics. I've been actually looking for this. This is hydroponics. And to hang more light bulbs for me. <coughs> with the clandestine light bulbs. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that's what this shit is. <coughs> Little timer. <coughs> well, I'm glad I found that. Sockets to, to run to make you know hanging so you can screw in clandestine light bulbs. We need that. That's got to stay out because I've actually been looking for that. <coughs> <coughs> because I'm having panic attacks because I'm under pressure and I'm scared and I'm frightened. I'm frightened for the fucking future here, which is part of the game. It's called loose harvesting. Oh, some little bracket that you can hang a plant on. I'm not in for that right now. So we don't need that. <coughs> what else is in here? I, I see more wire. This is good. <coughs> <coughs> more brackets. <coughs> Miscellaneous junk. What else? And this is a, a, a container I used to, I guess, work with before. Because I feel... <coughs> miscellaneous screws that I'm going to be needing. So we'll keep that handy and we'll revamp it and recycle it. Because it's just miscellaneous junk that I didn't want to sort out before. But it's full. It's heavy. But there's screws in there that I like to use. I like to use those screws. Okay. It looks like I already got my, my bag packed up here. Because I went through here before just a couple months ago, right? <coughs> I don't know what's in that bag. That's my old bag, my old uh, tool bag. When I lived at Gateway Place, uh, I started doing metal recycling, you know, to work on program development and to uh, create a program. And then any money that I use from stripping wires and busting up TVs, and you know, I did it for a year and a half, two years. And, you know, I'd, I'd take the metal, the copper, the aluminum, or whatever, <coughs> to the metal recycling <coughs> place, <coughs> and uh, cash it in. And then I went off and bought hockey nets and, and soccer balls and that kind of shit for the kids at Gateway Place. That's exactly what I did. Yep. It got me nowhere in life. Fucking nowhere.
Yeah. Okay. He's in here. What's in here? It's like Christmas. <laughs> right. Oh, what have we got? What happened to my other, um, my other, um, there it is. No, that's not it. Staple gun. I don't know. I should have two. What happened to it? Unless I gave it to, maybe I let my son that one. Who fucking knows? Oh my god. Anyway, I don't think there's anything in here that I need. This is to open a bucket, but these things are stupid. They don't even work. They, 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 they break off. As a matter of fact, this one's broken. <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah, did I get a hammer? <coughs> That's when you're doing leather work. That's a cute little hammer. <coughs> oh my God. I don't feel no... I'm looking for these other uh, staple animals. I don't... I don't I can't see it. I should keep that out. <coughs> I can just go to shh. That's a, that's a steel metal brush. <coughs> brush things off. Because <coughs> I want to do a little bit of painting this year. Oh my god. Fuck. <coughs> I'm hot. And it's dusty. <coughs> oh lord. I haven't even started my day yet, people. Now my nose is starting to run. Mm -mm. It's because my adrenaline is on overdrive right now. Because <coughs> 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 I'm being tortured with the idea of becoming homeless in the very near future, within a few years or so. <coughs> if you think it's bad now, wait, give it three more years with what these homeowners are doing with the rents and everything. <coughs> <coughs> they show, they have no remorse. Literally, they don't. <coughs> it's a fucking game with them. <coughs> now, I took off those glasses because I can't fuck a Z. I need some uh, half-inch <coughs> staples. <coughs> These ones are mostly quarter-inch, I think. <coughs> no, that's a half-inch. <coughs> that's a half-inch. <coughs> but there is quarter-inches in there. Okay, so we'll just take uh, one thing out. <coughs> and we'll leave these ones in here. Oh God, what a great video. I want to go outside, work in the yard with a, bi a bikini top on, but I can't because I'll burn in the sun and then I'll be all sore with sunburn. I can't have that happen. <coughs> oh, come on, man. Shut up. <coughs> All right, let me put what I got here away, I suppose, and go look for the screwdrivers and the hammer now. Okay, so this is where you start to lose days. It's the next day. What is it? July 7th, I think? Or yesterday was the 6th, or was it the 5th? I don't know. Today's Saturday, anyway. <laughs> right? So, I I'm forcing myself to come out here. Seriously, man. I don't want to be out here. I'm too stiff. Yeah, and, and just I'm, I don't have I'm, I don't have the stamina for this, but I have to make myself have the stamina for it today, right? And then tomorrow is two days of dishes I have to wash, whatever, whatever. Look for a new camera and a battery. I should have an extra battery for this one, so look for that, and look for an old, an old school c camera that's probably 
somewhat compromised in terms of maybe a little broken <laughs> and use it as a spare because I do want to go out on Monday to uh, follow up on this 54 apartments being evicted all at one time. Yeah. Uh, I just got out here and I'm sitting in the shade. I'm basically going to work in this corner today. This is Mr. Lace's cat house. Right? That was actually Mr. Lace's, my rooster, his pen. And then uh, my landlord gave me seven hens. And then it was Mr. Lace with the seven hens. And that's how Andre's Playhouse uh, became the hen house because I was going to move the hens into a bigger area, right? And ha let them like, have nice nesting boxes and whatever. But then the city came and told me to get rid of my chickens so my landlord came and got the hens and did whatever and eventually he came and he got Mr. Lace and took him to the farms and that was it and then ever since then it's been Mr. Lace's cat house if you're wondering because we were probably thinking about turning it into like a little cat house or something but either or I basically use it as a shed now I thought I'd try and make it into a little grow room with grow lights but that didn't happen yet because it doesn't get enough sun but I could if I wanted to I could actually hang in grow lights and turn that into a little grow room if I wanted to if I wanted to this is another big overgrown mess with a bunch of shit being scattered around you have to remember I didn't come out last year it was food prep food, food prep food prep food and then going blind didn't help And just that daily grind with the housework people. And I'm older, right? So, you know, I get tired, right? And the eye drops, they're making me sick. They've been making me sick ever since I started using them. But if I don't use them... Anyway. Oh, where's my gloves? Oh, my God. Mm. I asked Andre to bring down that little tool thing. Eesh. So I could, uh, I didn't even want to carry that. <laughs> mm. So I'm basically multitasking again from thing to thing. I'm just going to take it easy. I'm just going to take it easy and start working in this area with the knife cutting down the buttercup, the overgrown grass and anything else that's growing out here like a mad dickens. Uh, sort out whatever here. I got a couple of garbage bags so I'm filling them up slowly but surely. I like using this area right here. Right here. Right here when I'm using the skill saw so I need to clear this out so I can get out the skill saw and then we can start doing repairs whether we're doing the the the, uh, the stairs or you know I want to finish up Mr. Lace's cat house this year and there's a few things I need to do in there and uh, I want to put up some vinyl siding around that the vinyl siding that I have on in the front and on the side of the house I want to run them on the fence to reinforce what I'm doing with the screen mm -hmm. so it won't fall down and plus it will look nice on the outside of the fence facing you know the road or whatever so uh, by fall hopefully I'll get that done my landlord's son is supposed to help so we'll see he said he would so we'll see I said I'd give it my all this year on, in this yard, but the thing is, I can't do the four, four to seven days in a row. You need to put four fucking good days, 10 to 12 hours a day, just to be able to get through this fall before you can say that you accomplished anything. Yeah, yeah, four days at least, if not seven, 10 to 12 hours a day. That's what I used to do here, out here, people. I'm lucky to get two days a week, <sighs> but I'm pushing myself now. 
Now I'm pushing myself as I'm having panic attacks, knowing that I'm going to be down-talked and ridiculed and accused of this and accused of that by the very people that are creating the problem when it comes to, well, fuck, if you hate me that much, why don't you make it so that I can fucking get out of your stupid house and go find somebody that might appreciate me, actually, and, and I can get on with my life and you can get on with your fucking rotten life versus keeping me locked in like some spider on a fucking, you know, a spider, you know, with the, the, its victim on a web and they can't unwind themselves and you know what I mean? And the spider just every now and then comes in and takes a little bite and runs off and you know, and you're all wound up in the web and you can't get out. That's my life. Until the, the spider decides to kill you and eat you. You know, it, it seems like a like a nightmare, like a book that you would read, like a story, right? You know, like a science fiction kind of horror nightmare fucking novel that you would read. <laughs> but it's real. And that's why I'm going to go to that city meeting that's public, but nobody can go inside it. <clears throat> because they don't like to hear the fucking truth of what kind of criminals they are in terms of elected representatives to the community. What community? The interest groups. That's the community. The interest groups. Anyway. Save the energy for the work. I'll get in here. I'll empty out a few more planter pots. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try and bring out Amari today. He didn't make it out yesterday. It was too freaking hot, man. And plus, I was just working too freaking hard. And Andre was happy, and he was happy, so I just left him right. But today, I kind of want to try and get him down the stairs. We'll see. I'm 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 working on the stairs today. I'm gonna be uh, taking my metal brush that I just found. I showed that to you in the first part of this video. And I'm going to scrub it. And then in my travels I'm going to look for an old can of paint after I spray down the, the stairs for the ones that I know that I can use in terms of there's a couple boards there that might have to be changed. So I'll, I'll you know, just I'm prepping. I'm just doing the prep work right now. And in here, getting ready to bring out the skill saw. And I got some seeds to ease my mind. I had a key, but it looks like I already lost it. What the hell, man? I can't lose that key. There it is. Just leaves, bok choy, spinach, beet, beet beet leaves, whatever, right? My son tried to grow some uh, squash seeds or something. He went out of the way to fill up all the trays and put the seeds in it and everything. And I don't know. It doesn't look like anything grew because, you know, it seems like he doesn't get any help either. <laughs> he brought home tomato plants, put them out there, nobody watered them, and they died. So if he comes out here, he's going to be out here doing anything and everything by himself like I am. And he won't last with that for very long. He'll just get fed up and pff, fuck it. But he tries. Every year he tries to do a little something. He's usually successful at least um, growing a few squashes. But nobody watered his plants for him when he forgot about them or got busy. Right? Because he works long hours, right? Okay, I can't lose that key, and already I can't see them again. Oh my lord, I just put them right there. So I got my whole day planned. I'm going to be a dirty dog by the end of the day. I'll be back. Okay, you can see better than me. 
I just pulled this little freaking truck and this is exactly what I want little Peter to have. A little truck like this. But go figure, it ain't happening in freaking Uganda. It was down here, obviously meant for Kyrie to play bit, play with. That was Andre's when Andre was three and a half years old, maybe even younger. So this thing has been around for like at least 10 years or more. It's in really good freaking shape. It's just a little dirty. It just needs to be washed, right? And this is exactly what I want for little Peter in Uganda. And do you think I can get it to him? But I have one in my yard that's been in my yard for 10 freaking years. It's in perfectly good shape. Well, you watch and see. Once I wash it, it's going to be really, really good. Well, hold on a minute. There's something wrong with this wheel. But maybe if I pop it back into place, it will just take a hammer and hammer that in. Right? It should be fine. Now, well, look at that. Speaking of little Peter. And do you hear that? They taunt you. Right? They're busting up their shit. What's new, pussycat? This is a weeping willow. So this one survived. I love weeping willow. Oh, I really, really do. But look, listen, they're crashing and booming, you know, off and on all day, yesterday. I'm like, fuck, man, talk about, like I said, like it's like torture. Listen, right? It's going to be like that for months with their big-ass dump trucks coming through the backyard. Beep, 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 like through the alley. Beep, 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 when they're not driving in the front. Beep, beep, oh, oh, yeah. right, you know? Like, seriously, and for what? For what? A shadow building? A shadow building? How many shadow buildings do you have to build, right, before you can feel like you're successful in freaking life for crying out loud? Okay, just so you know, this is where I'm starting. I'm going to clean out as much as I can in here. Obviously morning glory. Some trees are living. Whoa, some trees are not. Okay, we know what happened there. This is just a nightmare. Fucking nightmare. All right. And then I'm going to get it that way. And here's another thing. Now I know I fixed this fence once before. I don't know if these people are doing it on purpose or what. Why? So I have to fix this again. I need to get up and behind here. This is where I have to be careful because of uh, hornets, right? Because this is, uh, Andre can break these up. They're nice and dry for the rocket stove. Oh. This is where I should have my, uh, I gotta clean up in here. Everything getting trashed around with the, uh, the uh, gutter pipes were supposed to be changed. It never fucking happened. Oh, whatever. These are good if you're... I actually, you know what? That's good for the pond in the front for filtration. <coughs> so yeah. <coughs> we'll move that that way. <clears throat> and we'll factor that in. Now this is where I have to be careful. Because this is when you stumble into fucking hornet's nests. Stupid man. <coughs> Somewhere in there. Should be my, uh, whatever it's called. <coughs> Roofing material. So I can put them on the stairs before I lay those metal slats on them. I gotta get up in here, you can see what's happening. But we're not doing that today. We're just looking at it and thinking about it. We're gonna make a path, you can see. So I have to take all these weeds out, whatever. Get up in here, pull out the morning glory, just whatever. Gather up miscellaneous, stack it up here. That's another day to sort it out and do whatever. These I can put underneath there for now. So hold on. 
You just need to listen to this crap, man. Wait, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <coughs> Goes back to that loosh harvesting. Cause you know seven households are their hearts are palpulating. Well, the neighbors down that way, knowing that their houses are up for grabs too, and well, actually, one 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 guy bought seven fucking houses, and he's just been sitting on those houses until he's ready to tear down all seven of them at one time, and that will be another seven households with uh, separate suites in each house, more than likely. So at least 14 households that will be evicted when that time comes. You hear this booming, right? And for what, bragging rights? Shaking people off of rails? It, I'm not gonna let it disturb me, right? Uh, no. Do you hear this now? They're grinding metal. That's, that's, they're grinding something with the metal. They're, I don't know. Fuck, man, they're, they're busting up the foundation. That's what they're doing, right? And they're throwing it into a dump truck. Yep. It's fucking stupid, man. They're dealing with criminal organization. That's what's going on here in partnership with a, with a government that's yeah, just an extension to that. Okay, as you can see, that's where I've been basically working. Piling up on the weeds, right? Working my way that way. Obviously, I'm under the sun, but right now I'm kind of taking a little bit of a shade because I'm sweating like a sow here. And nose, you know, right? Oh, hair getting in my mouth. I have to water everything. A lot of those plants died. Andre wasn't watering them. I told him to, but... It was hard to get the quarter moving around, right? So this year, by the end of the year, I need to have a separate hose over here with a separate hose over there with one of those I ordered on Amazon. So I'm gonna be, I have to buy more hoses though. Oh. Every time I buy hoses, my son takes my hoses, well, he did in the past, and he'd use it to sump pump out that drain that's on the side of the house that floods when the big rain comes because otherwise it can go into the basement, right? As the fucking three-quarter empty building four years later is sump pumping out the basement because it leaks. When the big heavy rains come at three, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, what am I going to say? So now I'm short on hoses. But I have repair parts for hoses, so hopefully I'm going to try and repair because I don't want to spend any more money than I already have, right? Especially when we know the, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, with the boom bang and smash and, you know, value it, you know, value. That's why it's easy for them to mock you and ridicule you and call you down and try and intimidate you. And if that doesn't work, then they threaten you. With the big bin, that is. Because that's just another fucking slush fund that goes with a deep pocket all the way to India. Mm -hmm. So even if you were to take them to court, they'll just call in their daddies and their granddaddies. And before you know it, you have like 500 of them all standing in a row saying, yeah, get past this bitch. We'd like to see that happen. With their deep money pockets. Yeah. Well, my certificates for my foundation have mysteriously disappeared among the Punjabi community to whom a board director, who is still officially a board director, refuses to give back. Why? What's he hiding, people? <coughs> One board director wants me to sign him off, give him a whatever and the other one says no hang on to him wait we're not done yet 
We need to find these certificates. He's not gonna get off that freaking easy. No. Nope. Anyway, the sun is creeping on me and I need to cool down for a minute and get back at it. I go where my energy takes me. I need to get up in here, up in there, so I can get towards to get the freaking roof shingles, you know, blah, right? I need to work in here so that I can bring out the skill saw, blah, so I can repair the stairs and work on Mr. Lace's cat house and secure that because, you know, the raccoons got in there, right? But then I knew they would because there's open, open gaps that need to be secured, but this year I'm securing it. Well, everybody around me is saying the yard is not their responsibility. No matter who it is. Yeah. So that people like that, that's busting up that fucking house down there that threw out a whole bunch of people out into the streets, basically, with his dad. And his uncle. And a few others in there. Okay? Can come back and mistreat you. So he learns young, at an early age, how to brag among his peers of how much he has because he worked so hard for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't work. Fuck no. Whew. Listen to this crap. I think that's recording. Remember when I did the BC budget this year? And they fast tracked this shit through city councils with their public meetings, AKA but closed to the public because they can't get into the meeting even though it's a public meeting. It's for this shit. That's why the city's doing what they're doing, because the government gave them the green light, just like the government gives them the green light any other public union sector that wants to go off and participate in illegal organ harvesting. Yeah. And then take their proceeds and just funnel them into the corrupt housing market with the rest of the criminals. This is a crime, people, what's going on here. I just have to figure out like I'm, I'm thinking, right? Like, we're definitely dealing with a criminal group. It only takes three to form a criminal group in Canada with the conspiracy, right? You only need three people to conspire to commit crime in order for it to become a criminal group. We're dealing more than with three people, that's for sure. The crime is obviously genocide. And um, it's like a form of enslavement, really, because, you know, if you have no place to go, and it's cruel, because, you know, we get very cold weathers out here, you know, it can get really cold, it can go like 20 below weather, right? And you'd have to like take all three levels, well technically four, you'd have to take the province to court, you'd have to take the city to court, you'd have to take the uh, 
property developers, developer, the corporation, right, to court, and more than likely the federal government, because the federal government props it up with their schemes. But the province gave the green light for this to speed up the process. And that's what the city is doing by making it a closed public hearing where they're going to pass the evictions of those 57 suites that I was talking about in an apartment building. As the city and the workers, in this, you know, they know that the, the, you go to the next same kind of building, gateway place, and you're looking at 27. That's why Tisha won't move because she's in an old building paying 1100 for a three bedroom in an apartment. If they kicked her out to tear down that building, which they're going to eventually because as people move out, they're not renting them out. So right now they're just waiting for people to move out. And then once they move out, they're not renting out new suites, like, like right? Because they, they plan on tearing down the building. So there's going to come a time when there's so many people in there paying rent and so many empty suites where they're just going to come and say, that's it, you have to get out. And then Tisha will be standing outside of City Hall, right, crying on about, oh, you know, I have no place to go because Gateway Place, it used to be in 2024, $2,700. I remember what it was like living there before when, you know, back in 2008. It still has the cockroaches. It still has the bed bugs. It still has the dysfunctional bullshit crap that goes on in there, right? You know, it still has the mice, right? But instead of being 2700 in 2024, it's now $3,200 in fucking four years from now. Nobody can afford that, people, and that's an old fucking stinky rotten building until it's torn down. And then they're gonna throw out all those suites to build in inferior buildings as they terrorize innocent people. This is terrorism, I can't stress it enough, people. But it boils back down, they want you doing drugs, they want you drinking, they want you losing your kids, they want your family members being injured and d murdered and whatever, and you just fucking disappear in the healthcare system, right? Because then it's easier for them to scoop into the fucking houses. Or jack up the rent and bring in the freaking immigrants to, with their subsidies, federal, municipal, provincial, to uh, pay, you know, $4,000 for a half a floor of a fucking house for crying out loud. Like it's bullshit, total fucking bullshit. That's just those, those, those that's self-interest. And then you go into the community where all the Punjabis, the, the homeowners, the property owners, monster house after monster house after monster house after monster house, because this is where they make their money, people. Oh, sure, they had their job this and their little job that. But at the end of the day, this is the big ticket fucking item. And then you throw in those, that organ harvesting under the table with the doctor bars and shit like that, with the turbans on you to boot, that can barely speak fucking English, but yet he's wheeling and dealing in body parts? Like, come on. And the government covers it up? Why? Because some of those things in the government aren't even fucking human, that's why. And that's another problem. You know, I wonder if it's the Punjabis that are doing it. Because they own half the fucking province already, people. And so many of them are mean. They're fucking mean. And they're getting meaner. You can't talk to them because they're racist for the most part. They really are. But then so is everybody else. I can't even get some black women to help a little toddler black boy sitting up in freaking Uganda, you know, to do a little charitable fundraiser of, you know, in any kind of capacity so that, you know, he can have a little bit of a quality of life. So. Because I'm white. It's a white woman asking for help, that's why. Maybe if I was black, it might be different, but... 
to get it. So I don't know. Oh, this is disgusting. It makes me want to go inside and get away and run away, but I can't run away from it. And this yard, the way the amount of time I put into this fucking yard and done everything that I've done and had to endure and everything, can't, you can't, well, you can't tell me that it didn't affect my eyes. Oh, fucking right it affected my eyes. Especially when I was out here seven days a week, 10 to 12 hours a day. Day after day, month after month, 10 months in a row, to be as, as a matter of fact. At one point, I don't remember the year, because they were trying to run me out of the house because they knew that the rents were gonna go up. But I got out there with that fucking whip on my back, on my legs, on my fucking chest, everywhere. And I worked like a damn dog. I fucking worked like a damn dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what could they say? That's why I have to do it now and get it done by the end of summer. Otherwise, they'll hold it against me, even though it's not my responsibility to be, to be fixing fucking fences, stupid stairs. You should see this porch with everything falling down off the roof. Oh, my God. You know? And just everything else that goes on around here. But if I don't try and fix it, it won't get done. It just won't, people. It just won't. Because they're tearing down the house. It, 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 it's gonna be tore up anyway, so fucking take it as is. I'm, you know, it's giving you a deal. A deal to death. You, you rigged the fucking, what is that? The gun with the chamber, with the five bullets, with the one chance to escape, and I'm already wound up in the web, so you know I'm not fucking escaping anywhere. So it's almost like I have to pull out the criminal code of Canada. Not that it means anything with anybody that's supposed to be my superior, right? In terms of they either have more money than me, or they think they're more intelligent than me, they have more authority than me, whatever. They're just above me, right? You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, they don't respect the criminal code of Canada. But, you know, it's almost like I have to pick up that freaking book again, go through it, and really try and figure out, you know, where I could... take that last stand. Yeah. Take that last stand. Assuming that I even get that far in terms of being alive for the amount of stress that I go through. This is just the first part of July, people. I got July, August, September, October, and November. Five months to work. It will be amazing if I see anything in five months from now for the amount of work that I've been doing out here already and I haven't even started. as I'm being taunted. Taunted, 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 like teased, you know? Poked at. I can't move out of the country. Realistically, I can't cross over the border and claim asylum. I'd have to walk away from everything. And I'll find the same problem in the States. And I'm sure in the hell not trying to be some ungrateful fucking immigrant saying gimme, 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 and gimme and gimme some more. As I see the American people ending up out on the streets more and more and more so I can live in some freaking hotel.
as an asylum seeker. <laughs> I can't go to a different province because the problem is there too. It's the, it's the same problem. Plus, I don't see very well anymore. But I can't just sit idly by and wait for the abuse because that's basically what it is. You have to wait. Well, you get abused while you're waiting. It's just closer to the time. Exactly. The, the abuse just gets worse and louder and stronger and more hurtful. Okay, I cooled down. Got real hot there. I want to go in, but I can't because I'm already dirty. <laughs> so since I'm dirty, I'll stay outside. My back is kind of achy and whatever, and I'm really depressed with this. So, my, my tibula bone is hurting today. So I probably knocked it again. Who knows? Ugh. So, keep it maybe easy on myself. I'll get up in here, I'll finish this, I'll get the shovel, dig it around, whatever. I have a few planter pots I have to empty out, whatever, and just, yeah, just keep working my way. <laughs> right, it's a little better over there now, but it's hard work. Okay. I came in, not only was I getting annoyed with the whole situation, because, you know, I'm kind of achy today, right? And I'm just, I'm upset that I have to do everything by myself, and everything that I'm doing is basically fruitless. Alright, as people accuse me of being a bum, and I don't work. Yeah, I'm just white trash, right? <laughs> anyway, I came in, because I kind of splashed myself with a bunch of grody shit, so that was it, I said, I'm done. And went and had a little rinse off, whatever. I'm sitting here now. I'm going to lay down because, honestly, I'm bagged. I'm really hoping I'll have the energy to walk to City Hall on Monday. I have to walk with Mari and Andre. So I'm just going to pace myself, do dishes tomorrow, get back into, you know, working with those jars and stuff and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So I came on to YouTube, all right, and then I'm looking. Let's let's read this title. This is a short little video, so we can watch this video, right? Montreal, that's on just up on the East Coast there, right? Montreal encampment protesting housing crisis gets dismantled, and they're 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 saying here. Uh, Oh, I don't know what that's saying. If I was, I would. That's French. I think that's French. <laughs> I would say halt the expulsion. <laughs> I don't know what it says. Maybe it's in French. Either or. This is uh, people like fighting against homelessness. People in the streets are criminalized every day because they occupy. Hell, you get criminalized in your home when you open your door and you say no because I don't dis I disagree with you going around destroying all the houses so you know don't ask me for anything because personally I don't think you're a good person and if you came from a different country honestly you should go back you know what I'm saying so you don't even have to be homeless to be mistreated no no, because we're dealing with racism here, people. This is another thing that needs to be talked about. By the public space. This encampment set up in Parc de Faubourg in Montreal on July 1st is to protest the city's policy on dismantling homeless encampments. On Friday, it was... Okay, so that's just basically 
well, yeah, and Alberta's doing it too. Alberta brought it in last year with their new party. Uh, yeah, I, I seen a video on that and I made a comment and whatnot, right? I think I even did a little video on it, right? Where they're just making it so that nobody can have a tent. And they're putting everybody on the run. They're treating them like criminals. And now we've got Montreal doing it. So not only do we got the people in, Al in Alberta with having to face that, and, and then what they do is they, remember, they redirect them to, um, um, I can't remember what they called it, but it's an intake center where they're supposed to, quote-unquote, hook you up to all these different services or at least give you the information for these d different services as if these people don't, they're just regurgitating the same services but you know they're 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 masking over the problem that they created in terms of these politicians all right they're criminalizing the poorest of the poor as they're using immigrants and a few senior staff here and there within the public union sector you know to uh evict thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people across Canada, hundreds of thousands. Just waiting for the body parts to come marching on in. Ordered to come down. Montreal police are on standby and say if they don't leave today, protesters might be arrested and fined. Every people that we spoke with today, including the police, told us that they understand what we're doing and that it makes sense, but they are just following orders. Oh, I'm so sick of that bullshit crap. Police are corrupt. We've seen that with Shemaine, we've seen that with Uncle John, and we've seen it with Sierra. Okay. Now the other one is, where is it, oh my lord, of course I can't see it now, I lost it, right here, thousands of families left homeless after Nima demolished their houses in Campella and that's where Lady Jane went to go take back that little truck that she got yeah. for uh oh, that's what nice so what does he think does he think about you and also think about that dish for to little peter in Kampala, Uganda. and for today as you can see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this video link somewhere on this video that i'm working on right now because even in Uganda, people are being flushed out of their houses, right? So we got it going on in Canada, big time. We got it going on in the United States of America, big time. And we definitely got it going on in Uganda, big time. Only they go for thousands at a time. <laughs> We're here... City councils in Canada just pick off one apartment building here, one apartment building there, a row of houses over there, a row of houses over there, right? You know what I'm saying? Kind of like what they did with they do with families in terms of what the public union sector does. Pick off one here, one gets murdered over there, cover it up. Another one gets lured to their death, cover up that murder. Right, you know, it just it just never ends. It never ends. The world is a bad place. There's a lot of bad, ugly people in the world who think they're beautiful and smell well. <laughs> Area where I am standing, this is where the houses were demolished by Neymar and unfortunately no one was compensated by the government and Imagine all these people are homeless as we speak right now. So every house that you see marked X, it was demolished as you can see. She said thousands. 
So that's more than a thousand, more than two thousand. <clears throat> so are they going to build a refugee camp? Put them in tents? Give them sour milk once a week? Try and ship them off to different countries? Or are these people on their own? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm just going to leave this in the comment section or someplace like that. But the school is still operating. It's operating, but no iron, iron sheets. No iron sheets. Eh? Yeah. And so they removed it because they are in fear. Anytime, mm, then people, they what they did, they're down, they are coming back. Mm. So can I enter? You can eat and see anyone there. Mm -hmm. Guys, let's just see. So this is basically the school. You can see they don't have iron sheets. They don't have iron sheets. That's what we put on uh, Mama Peter's roof, was iron sheets. <laughs> and the school looks so nice, so beautiful. This is really so sad. So they're tearing down all these houses and kicking everybody out. Huh. And I really feel so bad when I see like a beautiful school like this one. and. So that was a school. It was demolished, so they are still operating, I think, until the end of the term. We don't know. Anytime they can come and break even. So not only did they rip up all the houses, but they ripped up the school, too. So this is another form of genocide because they're flushing out thousands of people at one time. We're in Canada. They do a little here, a little there, a little, 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 until it's a freaking tsunami of dead bodies and homeless people. Yeah while everybody's scrounging around looking where they can make money off of whatever they think they can exploit. Yeah, that's exactly what it's about, people. Oh, they built the whole building. All the neighbors removed everything. Because of them, they are still having a school and the students are still there. Mm. But some, some, some parents removed their kids and took them out. Mm. That's why you see it there even. And it's really very sad that, uh, you know, they, most of the parents had already paid the school fees and uh, you feel like, where am I going to take again a child? I finished to pay school fees. So where are you going to get again more money to pay? Yeah. for another school, you yeah. know, it's very expensive. Yeah. Actually, private schools are very expensive mm -hmm. here in Uganda. For example, to pay a kid, you have to start from $100. And yeah. it's really so hard, like a parent has paid already school fees again, your child, you know, mm -hmm. it's not nice. Mm -hmm. so okay, so I'm just gonna leave that in my comment section. And if you wanna watch that video, here, maybe we'll go up a little further because that was just the school. They weren't talking about the housing. Oh my lord. I'll oh, just go halfway through the video. Yeah, and the rentals, you can see this one, this one, this one, and now all is demolished and she does not have anywhere. Yeah, does not have anywhere to go. So let's just go a little further. So that is the, the reason you see them at home. So I don't know what's worse, baking in the sun, freezing at night because it gets real cold, being homeless, or living in Canada, freezing your ass off when the winter comes in 20 below, 40 below weather, depending on where you are, right? With being saturated with rain, with a whole bunch of public service sector union workers chasing you around, criminalizing you because you can't afford a house in your own country. Mm -hmm. But they have been studying uh, a nearby school. The mother told me they have been studying a nearby school, but now apparently they sent them back home and also the situation that they are undergoing. She was having her houses there and rentals. You can see this one, this one, this one, and now Okay, these are sm these are small. They're like <laughs> they're right next to each other. 
this is like a one room. It's kind of like what Mama Peter has, right? It's not much, people. It's not much. Wall is demolished and she does not have anywhere to go <coughs> or to sleep. So that's why you see they are sleeping in a house like that. I really feel so hurt and so sad to see that their living condition is not really nice. This is terrible. And more so for the kids. I feel so bad. So when I say they don't have social safety nets there, they don't. Here, the government gives you a little welfare check, not enough to cover even half the rent of anything decent, but they say, well, we helped you. Get out of here. You're on your own. Yeah. And then if you end up homeless, they take away your shelter port part and give you just enough for food for a month, assuming that you can budget around it. Right? We're there. They don't get anything. No. They get their houses torn down. Compella is not that far from Lady Jane in the village that she lives in. I'm not exactly sure how far it is away, but... That's where she went to take back Peter's truck to exchange it, to get back the money. All right? So, clearly it's in driving distance. So, if this can happen in Campella, I don't know why. Obviously, government initiated. It can happen in, in uh, Lady Jane's village as well. Kati mama, kamba dembu zangu, nti kati chini chifu, kwa mazemo e banga chi, mazemo ni yako kumeta, kumeta ano, kati kata wapa na walio yoge diko na yeye no muga manti muna angewa tu kubie, ba ba tu mnye daka yumba. Na na muko vile simu, na muda mbwa tu mnyia irati sura vuelu, na yeye simu yadi jiko tanda ngamu diza kwa. So I was trying to find out how about the husband since he abandoned them, does he have any solution? But he says he received and just switched off the phone after she had finished to narrate him a story what a scenario, what had happened. So when you look at up over there, water uh, goes up and of course there is a ceiling. So what Ibra does is he removes water, he removes water and pours because the ceiling might be, might get uh, weaker and it can fall on them. And I really feel so bad because I think that ceiling is not really very strong as you can see guys, anytime so you can see the size of the house. It's not very big. <laughs> right. You can see. That's what we're gonna. That's kind of like what Mama Peter has, <clears throat> and I think they have them in rows. What we're seeing here, right? Row housing. Only that's not really a house. I don't know. It looks more like the shape of a garage or something. What they consider it to be a house, we would consider it to be a carport or a garage for a car. Yeah. So I was just asking her, are they not afraid because of that ceiling? She says there's nothing they can do. They're also very afraid. But there's nothing they can do. They feel like if the ceiling is off and the rain will be raining on them, and at least they feel like maybe it will not fall. Maybe it might fall on them. So they oh. also here. Can you get me some more water, though. please? Terrified, but like my back is heating do. up. I don't know why. They also, don't have like it's so hot. To go or to sleep or to live. My God, this is. I wish I was a billionaire, guys. This is something that I could probably come out and this is why lady jane says i'll never stop begging mama when 
because she's you know she's boots on the ground right people like there's we got some serious problems going on in Uganda when it comes to you know the issues of poverty right in terms of what we're looking at here right thank you I'm really sucking back on this water for the last two days getting dehydrated from outside. I can say maybe I can get for them a room to live. Guys, you can even see. It's, right now it is even raining. You can see it's drizzling. It had there. rained and you see all oh, their beds are wet and they're going, going to sleep inside there. And there's nothing they can do for survival right now. And I feel so bad for the kids also. They might get malaria and malaria is a very tough disease. Yeah, little Peter I think came down with that as well. This here in Uganda. That's why Lady Jane is bugging for the floor because you know it's it's an issue when you have a dirt floor, and especially when the rains come. That's why we did the roof, right? But we still have the floor to do. This is really not nice. So this gentleman is removing his material. I think this is where this is where his your house used to be. Where this one? Oh, this was his house. So sad. Mm. So where's he supposed to go? That was his house. <laughs> All the other houses are gone. That's what's happening in Canada. Same damn shit. So who's running the show in Uganda? R putting genocide on the Uganda people, right? Who's profiteering off of this? We know that the Punjabis out here in Canada are, Punjab are, are, are profiteering off of what they're doing, right? If you get a Chinese property developer, then yeah, for sure, they're, they're capitalizing off that crap, right? It's, right? These are foreigners that come to Canada you know, and they immigrated back in the day or whatever. It's a mosh posh of crooks. So what, what next? Now we are demanding. We are here struggling. Mm. And we, are, we want to collect our materials to go somewhere. Mm. So you're collecting your material. Mm. Mm. So did they compensate you? Nothing. Nothing. How long had you been here? More than, more than 10 years. More than 10 years. Oh, that's so sad. That's not nice. Because I'm just here. I was born in this village. Oh, you were born in this village. Up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So this is where you bought and you built it. So where do you sleep now? I'm, I'm like that. Mm. I'm like that. Mm. Yeah. So what do you do for a living? A lot of people like that in Canada are now being put on the fucking run. Mm-hmm. Why, people? Why? Do you honestly think that all these high and mighty, ethical, morally correct individuals are all human? Like, grab a brain, okay? 